Today I have a walk-in freezer that's not cooling at all. So the box is at room temp. The evaporator fans are not running, which is normal on a freezer if the coil is not cold enough. The coil is not frozen. The next check step would be to check the solenoid to make sure the thermostat's working. This unit does not have a solenoid. The next step, check incoming power. When I checked there, I found that I'm missing a phase of power on L2. So I start tracing it back. I found that there's a fuse box. I tested this fuse and I'm getting 208 across it, which tells me the fuse is open. I'm gonna confirm with the continuity test. I'm getting open line, this fuse is bad. So now I wanna to test to see why the fuse may have blown. I'm going to test all three legs of the compressor to ground to confirm no shorts in the compressor. Next, I'm going to test the windings of the compressor to see if there's any high resistance, which would cause some high amperage. So I'm going to check common to start, common to run, run to start. I'm going to remove the wiring to open up the circuit. On a three-phase compressor, all the windings should be the same within 0.3 to 0.4 ohms. The readings I got were common to start 1.4 ohms, common to run 1.4 ohms, run to start 1.6 ohms. This tells me that this compressor is probably not giving high amperage. Next I'm going to fire up. I'm going to test all three legs of the compressor. I want to text, test it during starting amperage. I was getting 9.3 amps. I'm running off a 20 amp fuse to protect the circuit, so my amperage is good here. Lastly, I'm going to test the defrost cycle, make sure there's no shorts in there, and then I'm make sure that all my fans are running to make sure there's no short circuits anywhere else in the circuit.